Shout out to Leonice Williamson and Darian McNeil because both of them sent me this story right here. And I feel like I haven't done a melanated excellence story lately. And this one right here caught their attention. It also caught mine as well. So in this picture, you see a young girl by the name of Elena Wicker. She's 12 years old and she is from Arizona and she was just accepted um, to a college at the age of 12, y'all. She's 12, which means at her age, she should be in middle school. She should be, uh, I want to say, if I got my numbers correct, she should be in the seventh grade, getting ready to go to the eighth grade. And she got accepted in the college at 12, and she also plans to become a NASA engineer. It makes me, it reminds me of that movie, um, what was the name of that movie with the three black female women that worked at NASA? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hitting figures. That's that's what it kind of, kind of reminds me of. I wouldn't be surprised if she was inspired by that story to want to do this, but we'll find out. A 12-year-old from Arizona is well on her way to achieving her big dream of becoming a NASA engineer. At an age when most kids are advancing through middle school, Elena Wicker has graduated high school and has been accepted to attend college at Arizona State University. She told KXXV, I just had a goal I wanted to get to. The prodigy completed her high school courses at home and aced the classes. Wicker's mom, Daphne McWhorter, said her daughter has had her sights set on outer space since before kindergarten. At four years old, she said, I'm going to work at NASA and I'm going to go up there. She would point to the stars, see, quarter, see uh, her mother said. She added that she was intentional about nurturing her daughter's gift for science numbers and Legos. Wicker's pl Wicker plans a a double major in astronomical and planetary science and chemistry and graduate by 16, the same age she hopes to land her first job with NASA. I'll be driving one of those future space mobiles by the time I graduate college, she said. Wicker plans to build rovers like the one sent to Mars in Perseverance mission. It doesn't matter what your age or what you're planning to do, Wicker said. Go for it. Dream, then accomplish it. Wicker is working to build her online presence through her Facebook page, Brown Stem Girl, the plans to launch a podcast documenting her journey. Last year, Atlanta Black Star readers learned the story of another precocious 12-year-old STEM student by the name of Caleb Anderson. This month, the Atlanta boy made headlines when he was accepted to one of the top engineering schools in the nation, Georgia Tech where he will be pursuing a degree in aerospace engineering. Like Wicker, Anderson demonstrated that he was gifted early on. According to his parents, the Matthews was mastering fractions and reading the Constitution at the age of two. That's just simply amazing. I'm not done with, I'm almost done with the article, but I had to pause right there. Like, these are the kind of stories I like to hear when it involves our youth. Because, you know, it doesn't get the amount of attention that it should. We always see a lot of the negative things that come out and everything like that. Shoot, the algorithm on this platform doesn't even pick up when I do stories like this. And I know why it is. It's the same way if this wasn't on this platform. If it was put out into the you know the masses, it still wouldn't you know, stay in the news as much as it should. That's why new black media is very important. I think there's a stereotype of young black males, whether it's sports or music. They wouldn't have a problem with it, but when it's intellect... People tend to question it. His mother, Claire Anderson, told ABS last year. She actually made a very good point about them questioning the black boy's intellect. Because I'll never forget. Uh, Y'all remember when they was putting all these stories up, out about these black kids getting accepted into all these schools and universities and everything like that. And then you had Palm Colored coming out and trying to question if these uh, of the if them getting accepted into these institutions was valid. Meanwhile, you had. The college admission scandals that happened back in 2019, where they were cheating and lying to get their dumbass kids into these schools. Meanwhile, our kids were actually getting in on merit. But then they got a nerve to question if what we're doing is legit. Because there's always a microscope on us. But congratulations to her, uh, her future. She, she is amazing. She's 12 years old and she already has her future planned out. It's people that's twice, more than twice her age and still don't know what the hell they're going to do in life. And they grown. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you have not done so already. Make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.